is headed for a shot at the Miss America crown, the contest airing Monday night, but Miss Massachusetts, Michaela Gagne, has faced far bigger challenges than the talent or the swimsuit competition. She lives with a rare heart problem. It's called QT syndrome. She has an implantable defibrillator in her chest. Many of us aren't aware that heart disease, that's right, heart disease, is the leading killer of American women and that each year in the U.S., heart attacks kill six times more women than breast cancer. And Michaela is here with us. She has made Cardiac Health her platform in this year's Miss America competition. She's joining us. I can hear the music behind you. Looks like a rehearsal. You're in Las Vegas. You must be so excited. I am so excited. It's very surreal. But tell us why it was very important to you to make this your platform. You know, all my life I had a heart syndrome that I could have died from, I could have dropped dead from, and I was very fortunate to discover it, so now I've made it my personal mission to educate the public about heart disease so that I could save other lives. Michaela, you were a star athlete in high school when you learned that you had this condition. QT syndrome is pretty rare, but now you have a defibrillator. Tell us what it will do for you if your heart has a problem. Well, my syndrome, long QT syndrome, it, it can it makes my heart prone to go into an arrhythmia. So if that were to happen, it would actually shock my heart and it would be able to beat steadily again. And how many women do you think uh, should be thinking more about heart disease? All women really need to think about heart disease. It kills more Americans than the next seven causes combined. And that includes youth. And, and it just needs to be a topic that America is aware of. And so what do you want them to know? Should they get checked? Is there a certain age that they should start thinking about it? There, you know, you should definitely know your family history. You should definitely make healthy decisions. Eat right, exercise, stop smoking. All those things are really great for you. And if you are concerned in any way, shape, or form, go in and get tested because you can be diagnosed and you can live a healthy life like I've been able to do even if you do have a condition. Michaela, you know, you're in the Miss America pageant, which is, very, is different than the Miss USA pageant, but obviously that pageant has been a lot in the news. Tara Connor getting out of rehab, other Miss USA contenders, losing their crown. Do you think it tarnishes the image of pageants at all? How do you feel about it? I don't know. I just, you know, I, I like to tell people that we're very different systems. I wish her the best and that um, they should just know the differences between us. And what are you looking forward to most about Monday night as everybody watches who takes the Miss America crown? You know, I'm just looking forward to a great girl getting crowned. I don't know who she'll be, but there's a great group I'm competing against, and I can't wait for the moment. Well, we can't wait for it either. Uh, Michaela Gagne, we are so glad that you're doing so well, and thanks for sharing your story Thank with you. us.